Hey everyone, it's, it's me, David Sponheim. Hello, welcome to David's Kitchen. Hi, yeah, yeah I'm back. Today we're gonna do a, a really special little thing. Very low cost, very healthy. You're looking at the ingredients that we'll be using. Except for one thing. Oh, there it is, an onion. Now, if you don't have peppers, I have a little pepper here. You can pick up a can of green chilies for about 67 cents. Yeah, that's a Walmart purchase. Uh, we get olives for a dollar. Organic black beans I picked up for a dollar. If you look around, you'll find them for a dollar. And uh, this amazing product made by a uh, wild harvest called Organic Mac and Cheese. Yeah, real simple dinner, very uh, very low calorie for those of you who are trying to cut cut calories and costs. So, so what we're gonna do is get the uh, the board out. Last week we had a problem with the connection; we couldn't go on to Periscope because Periscope had made our our entire system vulnerable. Yeah, the veggie twist. Well, the olives and the uh, the black beans are really the key here. So, and the the green chilies. That's kind of a nice feature. I'm boiling the water in the back uh, over here. I've got those at a level three, just kind of getting the the water hot. That's filtered water, in case you're wondering. All right. It's it says organic. Yeah, it's it's organic cheese. It's wild harvest. They they put together organic uh, cheddar cheese made without synthetic colors, artificial ingredients, no added MSG. Yeah, this is a pretty good product. Wild Harvest is uh, one of the, the name brands that sells this stuff. I got this for a dollar ninety five. If you shop around, you can get it for $1.50, something similar like Annie's Organic. But don't buy the other non-organic. You're wasting your time. You want to get away from chemical pesticides. Otherwise, you'll be like your aunt or uncle who's dying of cancer right now. Uh, okay, the water's boiling in the background. Can't really see it there. I'm going to go ahead and drop the macaroni in. Yeah, I'm going to cook the macaroni first. They come with a, uh, a little cheese packet here. So you put the cheese packet out there and then you just take the box and lift the hatch over here and drop it in. Now you can put a little salt in the water. I use my Himalayan sea salt. What, what What's wrong? You're not allowed to come in here, man. <laughs> I can't believe you. Hang on, I'm gonna put a pinch of Himalayan sea salt in there. And give it a little stir. Otherwise, they'll stick to the bottom and everyone will laugh at you. No one will be able to eat it. It's a slow boil, so it takes a little while. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some uh, onions. Now we're gonna use these special knives. I like your timing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What, what's your question? Yes, yes, Caleb, what's your question? I can't hear you. What? I, Caleb, I'm waiting. Hello? Caleb? Call back. Uh, sorry, I guess Google is a little bit different that way. 
Yeah, we have some people we have to keep constantly on top of. No, it's the same. Yeah, Caleb, give me a call back if you want to talk. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and we got a boil going over here. Hang on. This is kind of amazing. Okay, so you don't want to cover that, otherwise it'll boil over. That mac macaroni is going to get really nice and big. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this onion up with this really amazing knife. That's weird. Oh, there it is. There we go. A typical onion like this costs about maybe 30, 30 cents, depending on if it's organic or not. I get organic onions, so you can't go wrong with it. I don't work for anybody. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hardly. I'm, I'm working independent. I'm an actual American trying to build a political movement here. Don't make up stories. Hey, Tom, we warned you about your hatred of Mexican people. You're now banned from the show. You lost your account. Well, I urge you to buy good quality food, folks. If you're not doing that, you're going to have to step it up. Now, if you don't have that kind of quality food, wash your vegetables. Because t most likely they're not sucking in the uh, pesticides systemically. Unless, of course, they're genetically modified to do that. Which some are. They're designed to accept more Roundup in their skin and, uh, and continue living while all the weeds around them die. That's why they genetically modified a lot of food, not to create drought resistance, but rather to make them resistant to Roundup. So you get more Roundup, which you know has already been, in two legal cases, has, has won as causing cancer. Isn't it amazing? Are we up and running over here? Good. There we go. Hi there. Oh, if you hear the word organic, you'll scream. Oh, wow. We got a real idiot over here at iBlog. Uh, you know, I'm going to let you stay in the show because you sound like a moron who's going to come down with cancer. Yeah. No, it's not a marketing ploy. I was one of the first people to introduce organic food back in the 1980s. In fact, I'm the reason why a lot of organic food is sold at Safeway. Yeah. I introduced Safeway Markets and the O brand was born out of my pitch. Organic is not a marketing ploy. No. Believe me, you're not going to benefit from eating pesticides and herbicides. Okay, let me give that one more spin of that macaroni, otherwise it'll stick. Okay. That was three stirs from the macaroni on a medium flame. All right, let's go ahead and cut this up. I'm going to get the rear burner going here on level three. I'm going to cut the onions. Let me put this on the screen for you. I know some people want me to just cut onions all day long. I know that's that's what they want, so. Somebody said, could you just cut on camera with the audio pickup? And I, I could put a mic right here, but as you can see, it's kind of awkward. Yeah, it's still as sharp as it was. But, oh, I almost spilled it. My, luckily, I moved my hand. Do you see that? I could have cut my finger off with this knife. Wow. Fast reaction time. That's the key. Okay. And concentration. Never take your eyes off the knife. As I usually use a little olive oil. No, it's organic is not a specific seed patent. No. Organic means heirloom seeds, heirloom seeds that are naturally growing and haven't been genetically modified. And no pesticides or herbicides used. I'm glad I could clarify that for you. I am the reigning expert on organic. You had a good time presenting it? That's good. Keep, keep pushing the word, man. 
Talk about it. Tell people about it. It's the only way to awaken the American people. This is what this is about, really. It's about awakening the American people to good quality food at a low cost. Okay, so I'm going to throw a little olive oil in there. I've got this organic olive oil that I picked up for an amazing $5.99. Move this out of here. Hey, I told you. I told you we're going to uh, we're going to modify the chat now. I warned you. You just didn't take my warning. Nice job. Yeah, it was a five ninety nine. It was a good deal. I, I put about two tablespoons of uh, olive oil in there. There's a lot of fake olive oil now. Uh, that's canola oil. They're pretending to be olive oil. You got to be careful. Anyway. Another stir. You know, I'm going to modify this dinner to eight instead of eight people. I think I'm going to make it for four. Otherwise, everybody's going to be kind of hungry. Yeah. Let's be realistic here. All right. Especially with vegetarian food. America's organic standards are very high. Yeah. I know for a fact that they are. All the tilth associations are very serious about what they do. Why are you spreading lies about American organic produce? When I become president, it'll be the standard in America. We will no longer have food grown with pesticides and herbicides, except on occasion. Integrated pest management. And we will always say that we are using a pesticide. That's the new change coming. Chicken will be treated better. Tyson will be shut down for a while while I, we straighten out their operation something wrong with their food operation. We have to figure out why their chicken is coming in with rubber in it. Tyson Nuggets had a massive recall along with another producer. 59,000 pounds of chicken nuggets have rubber in them. Jake, are you an idiot? Don't answer that. I know you are. Again, with your pessimism, I'm going to put you on a one hour hold if you keep it up. Okay, I'm gonna push that uh, onion into the pan here. Gotta make sure the pan's a little warm, you know. Yeah, you can cover it up. The nice thing about the ingredients is you can just pour them out except for the olives. You have to cut the olives. And olives are pretty salty. So, yeah, about 1100 milligrams of salt in this container. So I'm going to pour the juice out in this particular instance and rinse them to take the salt down about four or 500 milligrams. So yeah, you are using a little uh, olive juice down the drain, but I think you can deal with that. Now you don't want to get the olives with the pits in them. That should do it. You don't want to get the olives with the pits in them because that's the pits. You'd have to, you'd have to pit every one of them. <laughs> uh, 818, you're being very disrespectful. I'm going to have to pull you out of the show. Well, no, but you're the only one chatting, so I'll let you chat. Try to lighten up, otherwise you'll never have anybody in your life. Certainly not a woman as nice as Sarah. I know a lot of you guys are going, how did Dave get Sarah? Man, what's going on with that? I, I always get Don Gmo everything, Sir Jimmy. I picked up Himalayan salt at uh, Ross for Less. I got this for $2.99, a whole bag full of it. I'm hardly even into it. Ross for Less has a, a lot of good, good food. It used to be uh, various other stores have this, but Ross for Less has the good food selection now. All right, we're almost done with the uh, pasta. I'm going to turn it off back here. Just let it sit in its own heat for a while. Meanwhile, my onions are rolling. Yeah. Hey, and I'm going to go ahead and pour a little uh, 
seasoning. I got this organic sprinkle from Bragg. I, I, it's priced at $5.99 a jar. I got this for a dollar. I got a bunch of them. Whenever you see things like that discounted, buy them as many, like five or six or so. All right. Okay, I'm gonna take the temperature up to six now. So get that those onions cooking pretty hard. Yeah, we could avoid eggs tonight. You know, eggs are not necessary in this meal. The, uh, the black beans are gonna go in with the uh, seasoning. And I'm gonna put a little chili powder in this, I think, from a jar. Spice Supreme Chili Powder. I hope that works out. And I think I'm gonna take and cut up these little onions here, or these, uh, these olives. You don't mind if I slice them up, do you? That makes the, uh, the entire dish so colorful, I think. Yeah. Very colorful. You can cut them in half or three, three parts would be good. Now, if you don't like olives in this dish, replace them with something else. You know, green pepper or something. I am going to be using diced green chilies, though. I got at Walmart for 80, uh, 70, 69, 70, I think it was like 79 cents. Oh, I contaminated my hand. Hang on. Who knows what's on that shelf at Walmart? Thanks for being special. Yeah, isn't this exciting? Now this does require some butter. If you have some butter you'd like to use, I've got some butter. And I've got my little yellow chili. I think I'll just cut that up too. If you have something like that, it's good. Yeah, I missed you guys from last week. We didn't have a show because we were uh, unfortunately getting a DDoS off Periscope. So we had a few security uh, uh, alterations to our server and made that possible. I'm just gonna cut off little pieces of this. Kind of dice it. All right. Okay, next step is uh, using the can opener, opening up the cans. So we're gonna do that. You go to full screen. Thank you, I hope everyone's here for Technology Thursday. Hey, if anything happened in the world, be sure to tell me. Yeah, I, I didn't check the news in the past five minutes, so I haven't, if anything happens, be sure to keep me informed at all times. We're getting 1.8 million an episode. No, you do not have power of attorney to deal with it. <laughs> Sorry. Now, Food Network never contacted me. They, they'll lose their license if they get me on the screen. The Illuminati's put a, a gag order on everybody in the media against me. If you talk about me, you'll lose your job. I'm just telling you what's happening. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is giving us all the uh, credible support we could ever get. Let me see the salt kind of in this here. Five two tablespoon servings. It's not too much, about 500 milligrams of salt. And this one has sodium 130, about 500 milligrams of salt. And we took the olives down to 500, so we're only about uh, 1,500 milligrams. You can top out at about 2,000 milligrams. Split four ways, that's not, that's not my ideal. You're supposed to have less than 500 per meal if you want to beat the frozen food business, which pretty much is the lowest thing you can buy is. Wait a second. Yeah, we saw you in there, t Rucker. Yeah, if you haven't heard, T-Rucker's still alive. I use Windows everything. I have Windows 7, Windows, yeah, Windows 10. I have Windows XP. I've got a bunch of Windows programs. I have multiple mainframes. 
No, it's not gray. Actually, it's the light. I'm trying to explain to you it's not gray. And I don't like all artificial coloring, so I'm a natural blonde. I use a I use a plant-based colorant, so it's not going to be completely colored. But believe me, uh, the lighting in here sucks. And I would gladly show you that, you know, in the other room my hair is perfectly fine. We've had this discussion before. Hey, that those onions are cooking with those uh, herbs. Let me get the chili powder in there. Spatula. Dang. There it is. Okay, get everything moving. So you want to make sure you have uh, the onions cooked. They're done. Pour your beans in on top of this. Turn your temperature down to level three now. The onions got cooked. Throw in your uh, olives, your peppers, throw all that in. Give it a light, nice light stir. Throw some chili powder on top of it. All right. Covered up on level three. Take your water and drain your water now. Be careful, be careful, this water is really hot, so. You saw this T. Rucker, watched his St. Patty Day show, really? Yeah, I heard he's alive, and Meow TV, I wish you'd inform him, because he said that he's not alive. Somebody needs to tell Meow TV they lied to him about his death. Maybe then Meow TV will be a supporter of what we're doing here. Not that I want him supporting me because he claims to have killed 6,500 people. <laughs> it's kind of hard to want somebody like that as a supporter. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bizarre. Hey, don't do as I do. do. Do as I say. Don't wash your hands with a washcloth. It's filthy. Now i got to wash my hands again and wipe it off with a paper towel. All right. They did a study, they found out that uh, washcloths and, 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 you know, these things, sponges, have more bacteria than your toilet bowl. Well, people are talking about developing a t children's show around me, but I, I don't, I'm not a person who hangs out with children. I do great voices, though. Kids would love it. I could pretend to be Mr. Rogers, but Tom Hanks has that going on. Won't you be my neighbor? Hey, neighbor. New Zealand banned guns today, folks. Not Zealand. We'll call them not Zealand. Yeah, sponges and, and washcloths have more bacteria than toilet bowls. I don't know, Bingy. I guess you found a place to hang out. Turk, uh, we don't do cut and paste here. That doesn't qualify as chat. <laughs> you could be a robot for all I care. Hey, uh, we drained it here. You see that? Hang on. We see how we drained it. I'm taking get all the, the macaroni shells off the bottom there. You don't want to lose those guys. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take and and do the uh, the next step, which is to add the green chili. Diced good ice green chilies. We're going to put right into the pan. Now those are already pre-cooked. I'm gonna throw a little water in there, it won't hurt it. Get every one of them out of there. Thank you. Okay, wow, talk about an easy dinner, huh? Okay, keep that heating and then go ahead and, and add your macaroni to the top of it. Keep it cooking. And uh, start to clean up. You're almost done. We're just going to add the cheese to the whole thing. I 
I might cut this video with last week's video where I tried to make sausage potatoes, but it didn't work out. Just to extend it out. Okay, that's on level three. Hey, I did something with my refrigerator I want to tell you guys about. Uh, I installed a uh, an LED light, a 4.5 watt light versus 80 watts, which is what it was costing me every time I opened the refrigerator. I'm anticipating like a five to ten dollar savings per month on my electric bill. But these things are about ten bucks. They're LED and they only use 4.5 watts. Whereas your standard light bulbs, the combined, use 80 watts, your standard refrigerator light bulb. So I just I loosened one of them so it's not working and I just put the 4.5 in there. Because I was always feeling guilty when I was, you know, shutting off the LED is the best. You've been removed from the show based on your dislike for LED. Yep, thank you. Remember, you've got to be on your tippy toes here because we're only in, in, including people who are into sustainable living, who care about the environment, who don't want their taxes increased, who want to build solutions for the, uh, the country that are, are you know solid, who want to get us out of foreign wars, who support legalization of marijuana, who like uh, who like to stop the big co companies like Bayer, who bought up Monsanto, and Dow Chemical. We want to make Dow Chemical work for us as opposed to making resin furniture. We want them to make desalination systems that can actually desalinate water. Believe me, I got a lot of plans for companies. Even Tyson Foods can make some improvements. I don't want any companies to shut down. I want to modify and adapt to a more friendly environment. Dave, fridges leak gases, which poisons your food? I don't think so, no. My food is all sealed in frometically sealed containers. Yeah, anybody who fakes your death is the biggest loser of all times. Okay, let's shake the Parmesan. If you <laughs> Now, this is like a, a, a staple in any house and apartment. Thanks for the friend request. If you don't buy some Parmesan, and it has to be a decent brand, if you get the stuff at the dollar store, forget it. it tastes like cardboard. This probably has some wood in it, but it's still, you gotta get something you like. Something that will add definite flavor to this dish. Now, I'm gonna take the, the dish is now uh, at the point where I've got it on low. I'm gonna turn it down to low. And I'm gonna take a container of, take a spoon. Because I am David Spoonheim, after all. Parmesan is a natural aphrodisiac. Well, aren't you special? Well, people can fake their death, and that happens a lot. But if they try to avoid paying taxes or avoid doxing charges, and and when I uh, extradite him from Canada, and when I'm president, he's going to be, you know, crapping bricks. He won't know what to do with himself. No, I don't have a brother named Danny. That's not true. He's a, a, a guy who's also going to be serving some jail time for doxing me. We have copies of the doxing that he did. Yeah. Mark made a, gave him a lot of money to do this, too. Lot Lizard and T. Rucker. And United American, they're all three going to be charged with felonies. Multiple felonies. Count on it. Mark is a separate subject. I'm not discussing Mark because, frankly, I don't know what laws he's breaking. I just know that my rights are being squelched, squashed, denied, zipped. Yeah, freedom of speech is being interrupted. Equal protection of the law is being interrupted. The fairness doctor, doctrine, which I hope Donald Trump reinstates because it would begin to get some accountability from, dem from democratically led stations like CNN and uh, Republican led stations like Fox. We'd automatically get these people to do the right thing and represent the public interest. Now, Donald Trump can't think of that idea. He's going to have to steal it from me. But I hope he works on it rather quickly. 
Smoky Stash Organic Catnip. I don't, I'm not going to put that in my mac and cheese. Okay, here's the most important part. You get all your good final ingredients. I've got cheese dip from Finlandia. I got this for a dollar, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use some of that. I got this organic butter from Horizon. I'm going to use that, part of that. The end of the container, see that? Let's put that in first. Nice piece of, uh, has a little olive oil, organic olive oil, but Horizon is a really good company and they make good products. I'm going to throw that chunk of butter in there. If you got butter, do, do not use margarine, whatever you do. Just start stirring it with the, uh, the butter on there. Mix everything together. It's very colorful. See how colorful that is? Okay, while you're stirring, you can also add your package of organic cheddar cheese, which came with the package. And today, in case you came in late, we used Wild Harvest organic macaroni and cheese. All right. Thank you. Cooking 101. Uh, we don't like your name. That's very disrespectful to the show. You're banned. All right. Top it off with the, the cheese. See how orange it is? That's all natural. You don't want to waste it. Good stuff. Yeah, you can even put a little water in there and squirt it out onto the dish. I've got this on low, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I'm trying to get all that cheese taste. There we go. It'll soak it up, don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna mix everything together. I'm gonna add some Parmesan too. There we go. Okay, let's get this thing rolling. It's got a, a nice texture, looking good. You gotta really mix this. Everything has to be mixed up really well. Just keep mixing. Every bite has some protein, vegetable, fiber, all natural except we don't have organic olives in here. We don't have organic chilies, but organic onion, organic macaroni, and organic cheese. That's pretty cool. And I've got this great pesto. I'm going to add some pesto to this. Sarah loves this stuff, so maybe she'll eat this. I'm going to take a nice heaping teaspoon of that. Put it right in there. Kind of just mix it up. There we go. Kind of spread the pesto around. All right, cover it up. Thoroughly mixed it. Nice. Beautiful. I could use the cheese dip, but I really don't need to. But I might use it later to kind of add the dish. I'm going to top it with Parmesan and a little more chili powder. Actually, I think I'm good on the chili powder. Whoa! Almost had a pesto blast here. All right, we're almost done. I'm going to just go ahead and show that to you. That is one big meal. I think I'm going to take it up to eight people again. Oh, hang on. A couple little macaronis got loose. I don't want to waste those. Get in there. Okay, I'm going to leave that on, on simmer for just about 10 minutes and I'll, I'll be back to eat it later. Welcome to uh, vegetarian cooking. I was a vegetarian for five years. Yeah, we'll get We'll get uh, the slow chat off in just a second. Yeah, cheese and pesto, yummy. It's good stuff. That's in a bottle, that's nine bucks, that stuff. Oh yeah. Kirkland Foods, nine bucks for that stuff. Premium. But you can just use Italian seasoning too, that's fine. All right, signing off. Thank you everybody for watching uh, David's Kitchen.
and we're going to go ahead and take you down because you don't know what I'm doing. A lot of you people are veritably retarded, and uh, the more you realize that uh, you're not able to stop me, <laughs> it's just kind of ironic. It's like you're going down the toilet bowl and you don't even know why. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a few banning things over at the uh, the the stocking channel, we'll call it. Vaughn, I'm going to heat my coffee up. I am. You'd be surprised. I can't be stopped. No, I haven't put any money, any of my money into this yet. Can you imagine if I had loaded billions of dollars into this effort? <laughs> really? Not that I have billions of dollars. But you could imagine what would happen if I did. Okay, microwave's on. I got to walk away from it. I got to sign off to David's Kitchen. I'll see you in the other room. Let me change this header to eight. Because I think we could fit eight people in here. Yeah, eight people could eat on that meal. Thank you. I was right to start with. Signing off, everybody. Good night. We'll see you in the other room in about two minutes. Bye.